Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to show you in a really short video, how you can create a developer environment on behalf of somebody else. This can be really handy when you are an admin and you want to create multiple dev environments for training, or you want to create dev environments for a new dev team that's joining the company. You can do all kinds of things there. So let's switch to my desktop and show you how it's done. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and I filtered the Power Platform Admin Center on the environments that we have with the type developer. So let's do that again. Here we go, developer, apply it. And we can see that we have four developer environments here. We can see that April has an environment. She has another developer environment for Power Pages. Uh, but in this case, I would like to add another developer environment for April. So let's switch to my Windows terminal. And here I already ran the pack command. Uh, this is really important because this will show you the version number of the Microsoft Power Platform CLI. And here you can see that uh, I have the version 1.28.2, and that's the minimum required version for this functionality. So let's go to pack admin create and I'm going to use the help command here because it will make a lot more sense. So here you can see all kinds of parameters that you can use for this command. You can use a name, a region, a type. In this case, we are going to use developer. You can add currency, languages, etc. And you can also, and that's the new thing here, you can use the user parameter. So in this case, we are going to do that. So Let's run pack admin create, give it a name. Let's call it April's next developer environment. And let's use the type called developer. And I'm gonna not use the region because there's already a default to United States. I'm not gonna use the currency because that's also Already a default that I'm okay with. The language is okay. So I think I'm just going to use the user parameter. And there I'm going to use April at low code revolution dot on Microsoft dot com. Whenever I hit enter, it will start creating that environment. So here it will create the Dataverse database. And if I go to the environment again, I can refresh this. And I can see that April's next developer environment is actually already being created. It's prepared right now. So if I refresh again, it should show the state is ready. So it's all ready to go. You can also see that I created it, but there are some things that we can see where April has access to. So for instance, if we go to the security roles, we can see all the different security roles here. In this case, we would like to see the system admin role and click on members and see who all have that role. You can see that I have that because I'm a global admin. April has it because I added her to this environment. So this is basically in short how you can create a developer environment on someone's behalf. I hope you really like this video. Let me know what you think about this feature. Please try it out. And when you have feedback, please leave it in the comments below. I hope to see you at the next video. Bye-bye.